Leave him. What's she doing at Paddy's? They should be down here talking to me. Mum. What? How did you expect him to react? What do you want me to say? It was rough on us all, and I know my timing's rubbish. He was so happy those last few days. We all were. I can't keep pretending everything's all right when it's not. But you expect Aaron to, don't you? He can't cope with it. It's too much. Well, you're doing all right. You're here. We're talking. You might be. I'm not. All right, you're listening. Don't. Last night, you let me say what I wanted for the first time. Any idea what a difference it makes having you on my side? Stop it. Don't make it sound as if I've agreed to anything. Mum. Mum, will you just come back? I got you some rock. Did ya? Mm. There you go. Ah, oh, have a look. Have a look. Sexy beast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mum wanted lick me, but I drew the line there. What does Aaron say? Loser. I can't believe he was going to be strapped to some big, burly bloke and he still bottled it. Ah, oh, get you some towels. No, I'll get them. Stay there. You stay where I can see ya. I've got unpacking to do. Sit down. You're not going to kill me by just talking about it. Shh! No! Cos you keep on doing a disappearing act and I need an answer. All right. But you listen to me too. All night, this has been going round and round in my head and what I can't get past is that you were happy. When you jumped out of that plane, you were on top of the world. Mum. What if there's other days like that? Not every week, but, but enough. I can't live for the next skydive. It's what people do. We've all got boring jobs doing the same thing every day. I mean, you look at Aaron. All he sees is the inside of the garage. But he can get up and walk away whenever he feels like uh, it. And Laurel and Lisa packing toffees all day. And Bob pulling pints all day. But it's the same thing that gets them through. It's family. It's your mates. It's... He's going to the pub after work. But I can't do any of that without a hoist and a straw. That might be fine for you, but you don't get to decide what makes my life worthwhile. Right, handsome. <clears throat> you ready for me? Always. Good. I'm, uh, I'm going to the shop. <clears throat> any word from Amy? No, not yet. Terrible business. I thought she'd settled here. Yeah. Well, if there's anything I can do... Cheers. Hey! How was the Yorkshire Riviera? Great. And the parachute jump? Well, I tried calling Aaron, but it was obviously having too much fun. Haven't you seen him then yet? No, no, he's not been over yet. Come on! Did they scream all the way down? Uh, he didn't do it. What? It was just Jackson in the end. Did he check it out? Oh, well, <laughs> this is brilliant. We're going to have to drag them both up to the pub now. Yeah. No, I can't. I'm on a call. Promise me you'll extract every ounce of humiliation. Oh, yeah, consider it done. You come in. He isn't here. What? He decided to stay on. In Whitby? Spare the moment thing. Without Jackson? Wow, that, that's really nice of him. How long for? Where's he staying? I'm sure he'll call you. Right, let's get Jackson's tea. Aaron must be up now. It's not at home. What? I saw Chaz and Paddy at the shop. Where is he? I haven't got a clue. Anywhere that's not here, I suppose. He won't know what he's doing. He won't be thinking straight. I mean, you know how he can get. He's telling you the clearest way he can. No, no. I'm not losing him now, not after we've come this far. What difference does it make? Now? Later? 
You're going to leave him anyway. Not like this. This isn't what I wanted. Oh, I see. So it has to be on your terms, does it? Mum, don't get angry, please. I need you in my corner. Look, just back me up. Try and convince him. He won't listen to me. He will, he will. If you tell him that you'll do it and that you've changed your mind. I can't. You can, you can. Please, Mum. Jackson, please. I just need to know he's okay. Take your time, why don't you? Aaron. Are you still in Whitby or something? Could you just give us a clue? I know you're upset. I know you're angry. Trust me, I've got the bruises to prove it. And on the scale of things, it was pretty bad, but we always make up in the end. Please, I'm worried about you. Will you just come home, please? I need you here. You all right? Yeah, I don't think I'm right. I got a text, says he's fine. Is that all? Yeah, I rang him straight back and just got the voicemail. Oh, I don't know, Paddy. What happened in Whitby? I mean, did they fall out or what? I don't know, but Hazel was definitely acting weird. I don't like it. What's he done now? Maybe I should have just left him out of this from the start. Try and have a kip, eh? It's just when I picture doing this, he's stood beside me. Yeah, that's how for me to want him here. With me because I need him. No. Don't go up just yet. What would I do if you left me at all? Right now, I wish I could. I know what I'm asking. I know it's difficult, it's going to take time to get your head around. But Aaron's not here, Aaron's not here, so we can talk. We can talk without anyone getting angry, upset and walking out. To be honest, I... Uh, I don't know. What you're asking, there's no turning back. I know. But it's what I want. I just want to leave you and Aaron to get on with your lives. This is my life. And you're Aaron's whole world. I don't want to be in a body's world. This body isn't mine. The person I was is long gone. I just want to be free. You won't be free. You'll be dead. And you'll never know how your life could have turned out. No, but you know, in five, ten years, your your whole attitude could have changed. Isn't it worth that chance? I know what this is. You just want to stick a bush in my mouth and I'll be painting woodland creatures. I could never have made you into an artist even before your accident. It just still seems like we're going around in circles and I'm tired. I'm tired and I don't know what else to say. When you was a baby, I used to worry that I'd die and I'd leave you. And then when you grew up, I was worried that we wouldn't be that close anymore. But then I got another chance to look after you and and I felt lucky because, you know, not not many mums get their chance. So I'm not sorry that that train didn't kill you. I'm not sorry about anything. I wouldn't have made it this far without you.
And I don't regret anything. Not a thing. I've had a great life. It's the best. And trust me, I didn't want it to end like this, but sometimes things just happen and you got to deal yeah. with it. It's the worst thing in the world with your kids going before you. It's not supposed to be that way. But if it means that I could be with you at the end... Like I was at the beginning. So you'll do it, you'll help me. Is that what you want? Yeah. Then I will. 